Here to talk more about it is Mary Heiser from the Capital Area Humane Society. Good morning, Mary. Good morning. Who do you have with you this morning? <laughs> this is Jack. Jack is a two month and a two and a half month old little male kitten. He was available for adoption. He needs to be, have his neuter surgery before he can go home, but he's available for adoption today. And what's his adoption fee? His adoption fee is $70, same as for all of our kittens, and that includes his neuter surgery, his first vaccinations, dewormer, flea prevention, all that good stuff. And when someone goes to the Capital Area Humane Society to adopt Jack, they're going to encounter a lot of volunteers Absolutely. out there. Absolutely. <laughs> Everything, you'll see, first thing you see is our dog walkers outside walking the dogs, volunteer greeters, matchmakers, all kinds of volunteer opportunities. Okay, you had more than 600 volunteers last year contributing how many hours? Over 38,000 wow. hours. That's a lot of hours. It is a lot of hours. So how does someone get involved with becoming a volunteer? We have a STEPS volunteer training program. It's uh, skills training and engagement and practice for success. It's a five week program. It's four hours once a week and then five hours of mentored volunteering. And that's a requirement for all volunteers, whether it's dog walking, cat, cat care, website photography, foster parenting, everything requires the STEPS program. Okay, you mentioned a few of the opportunities mm -hmm. there. What are some other opportunities when it comes to volunteering? Uh, for people who maybe are allergic or, or can't handle animals, we have opportunities for administrative support, helping out at events, um, computer support, all sorts of things. But with the animals, we have cat care and rabbit care and dog, dog socialization, dog walking. Okay, and is there a cost to get involved with this? Um, the fee for the STEPS program is $30, which really just covers the t-shirt, the training manual, and the, and the name badge. We just started a huge class uh, this week. The next class with open av availability starts on Saturday, June 1st, and runs all during June. Okay, and this is for ages 12 and up? Sure, to volunteer, you need to be at least 12. And if you're 12 to 15, you need to volunteer with, with a, a parent or guardian. And they, they go through the training with you, and they volunteer with you every time you volunteer. Ages 16 and up can volunteer on their own. Okay, what if you have a child younger than 12 who still wants to help out? There, there are great ways for them to help out, just not directly in the shelter. A lot of children enjoy doing a supply drive or a Hearts for Paws drive or making posters or doing book reports. We see a lot of really nice children, especially ages 8 to 10, who will ask for supplies for the animals instead of birthday presents. All right, very good. Something for everyone out there. Absolutely. Hey, one more time before we let you go, how can we get Jack adopted? Come see Jack today from 12 to 5. And if he's still available tomorrow, you can see him 12 to 5 or 2 to 7 during the week.